Here in Yuma, it was the high wind gust that knocked down power lines and trees just like this one you see right here. This tree was uprooted and completely toppled to the ground, cracking some of the asphalt even. We have video of some of the work crews that responded to the call. They had chainsaw parts of the tree in order to clear the roadway. There were also power lines that were knocked down. That's what caused most of the power outages and even a mobile home fire. Now, for people who were traveling back to Yuma on Interstate 8, traffic was slowed down by some huge boulders that fell onto the road. Closer to Yuma, we had a Walmart semi truck that turned over trying to get into town. A trailer attached to a truck also turned over. Fortunately, nobody was hurt because there was zero visibility out there with all the dust blowing around in the sand dunes. Now, we were able to speak to the homeowner where this tree fell, and he says he's just grateful it didn't fall on his home. We're very lucky. We're just talking probably 15 minutes before about having the house insurance. We know that these trees do not root deep, so we're a little bit concerned about the tree falling over the structure of the house and creating all the damage. And us not being the only ones suffering right now, it might take a while to be able to repair it, so we feel very lucky about it. Work crews with Yuma County say they will be going around town to pick up any trees that have fallen down and are in the way. In Yuma, Alexandra Angel, Arizona's family.